We have been hearing about large language models from last few months. With releases like ChatGPT, it shows the vast potential the technology has. LMs are very general in nature, which means that while they can perform many tasks effectively, they may not be able to provide specific answers to questions or tasks that require deep domain knowledge or expertise. Using these LLMs in isolation is often not enough to create a truly powerful app. The real power comes when you can combine them with other sources of information or knowledge. For example, imagine you want to build an application that answer questions about healthcare. While the LLM may be able to answer general questions about the field, it may not be able to provide more detailed or specific answers that require specialized knowledge or expertise. That's where LangChain comes into play. In this video, we will understand what LangChains are, how they work, and see a working example. In short, LangChain is an open source library that provides developers with the tools to build applications powered by large language models, LLMs. More specifically, you can use it for chatbots, question and answers, text summarization, and much more. The core idea of the library is that we can chain together different components to create more advanced use cases around LLMs. The main components of LangChain are, first, our prompts, which includes templates that allows prompt management, generic interface for all LLMs, and utilities for working with LLMs like GPT and Bloom. Chains are easily reusable components, which can be linked together. Chains go beyond just a single LLM call and are sequences of calls. One example of this is creating a chain that takes user input, formats it using a prompt template, and then passes the formatted response to a large language model, LLM for processing. Agents are another component which involve an LLM making decisions about which actions to take, taking that action, seeing an observation, and repeating that until done. This sounds pretty complex, so let me break it down for you. Some applications will require not just a predetermined chain of calls to LLMs, other tools, but potentially an unknown chain that depends on the user's input. An agent is a wrapper around a model, which takes in user input and returns a response corresponding to an action to take and a corresponding action input. Let's look at the example. So there is an agent executor chain. There are few components here, but first thing is the thought. So based on the query, who is Leonardo DiCaprio's girlfriend? What is her current age raise to power 0.43? So there are few logical steps in this process. So from this, the thought model says, okay, I need to find out who Leonardo DiCaprio's girlfriend is. The action which agent is deciding is search. So as agent decides, okay, the input for this search action will be Leonardo DiCaprio's girlfriend. The result it gets on the search is Camilla Marone. For the second part, then it creates another chain and does similar search to find her age. Finally, the last, the last tool it uses is calculator to perform the computation on the age, and then it returns the final thought. The final one is memory short or long-term memory. Again, it's very cool. For short term, the main one is the conversation buffer memory. In simple terms, it will remember previous inputs and outputs and use them in your next set of generation. This will help you to have a conversation and thus
That was all from our side. Please comment what model do you generally use in Hugging Face, and also let us know if you would like us to cover any other model.